Welcome back to the Hive Swarmers. While we are all working on living our lives more sustainably, it seems one of the most challenging changes to make in our lives is removing plastic. The problems with plastic start with its very production, since it's made with petroleum, and go straight through to its end of life. Well, Actually, to be a little more accurate, the fact is there is no end of life for this stuff. It hangs around for hundreds of years, just getting sheared or shaved or worn into smaller and smaller pieces, and ultimately ending up in our food chain, and ergo, in us. And while it is getting easier and easier to avoid obvious plastics like single-use water bottles, straws, and grocery bags, which is amazing, there are places where plastic lurks completely out of sight. So today we've got a list of things to try to cut out of your life to avoid plastic inadvertently sneaking in there. Number one, tea bags. Many ready-made tea bags, even those with organic leaves, contain plastic. Unfortunately, we're not just referring to the plastic wrap around the box or even those individually packaged bags. It's used in the manufacture and then sealing of the tea bag itself. This is likely to be traditional plastic made from oil. According to a study from McGill University, after you steep your brew, you'll possibly then be drinking 11.6 billion microplastics and 3.1 billion nanoplastics in every single cup. Some tea manufacturers are moving to PLA, polylactic acid, or bioplastic, but make sure you read the labels and websites carefully, as most of the time these are still not home compostable, meaning they still have to end up in landfill. Instead, source loose leaf tea, which you can then use in a reusable bag or a proper teapot. Number two, chewing gum. Surprised? The actual exact ingredients of chewing gum are a fiercely guarded secret, but they all contain a gum base of some kind, and most of the time, this is a synthetic elastomer, polyvinyl acetate. Most gums also contain rubber, called polyisobutylene, the same stuff used in car tires. Gum is designed to be stretchy and bouncy and largely indestructible, meaning it cannot be recycled or composted. And there are hundreds of billions of sticks of gum produced every year, with the global market in 2019 being worth 32.63 billion US dollars. Thankfully, there are some forward-thinking gum companies who make plastic-free products like Glee Gum, Simply Gum, Choosy Gum, and Honest Gum. Be sure to check those out for your next chew. Number three, feminine hygiene products. This is another instance where we wish we were only referring to the packaging and wrappers, or even the applicators, but that is not the case. Sanitary pads and tampons contain plastic within the actual products, and not trace amounts. While sanitary pads started out as wads of cotton, there is no cotton in disposable pads nowadays. They are usually polyethylene, polypropylene, polyester, polymer foams, polyaromatic or polyolefinic block copolymers, and hydrocarbon resins. So. Basically, disposable menstrual pads are various forms of plastic, inside other types of plastic, sticking to your underwear with plastic adhesives. Tampons have slightly less plastic as part of their makeup, and they do use cotton. But with 88% of the tampons sold in 2015 in the US being those with plastic applicators, plastic is an enormous part of American menstruating people's lives. Clean Ocean Action cleaned up 4,080 plastic applicators from 70 beaches across New Jersey in 2018, which was an increase of nearly 20% from 2015 beach cleanups. But it doesn't need to be this way. Reusable pads, panty liners, and underwear are plastic-free alternatives. Or there's a menstrual cup. Check out our video on plastic-free periods to learn about other great alternatives to have a sustainable menstrual cycle. Number four, receipts. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Receipts are paper, right? Well, kind of, but not entirely. While there are some retailers who do use actual paper with actual ink printed on them, the vast majority of receipts are thermal, 
That is, they are printed on via a heat process, and they contain BPA plastic. This means that they are not recyclable, non-biodegradable, and not compostable. The 100% paper receipts can be composted or recycled, but knowing the difference is harder than you might think. So unfortunately, this is a case of better safe than sorry, and tossing all your receipts in the trash might be the best way to avoid wish cycling. When given the option, always opt to skip the receipt or have it emailed. Number five, salt. Yep, you are likely getting a serving of microplastics along with your table salt. Research published in the Environmental Science and Technology Journal in 2018 suggested that the amount of microplastics in sea salt could be an indicator of the magnitude of microplastic pollution in the surrounding marine environment. They found only three brands from all samples analyzed from 21 countries to not contain microplastics. One from Taiwan, one from China, and one from France. This data is alarming for anyone in the world who sprinkles or grinds salt crystals onto their french fries, but for Americans, it's worse based on the fact that a whopping 90% of the population eat far too much salt, and so consume much more than 660 particles of plastic each year, just from their salt intake. The solution? Well, it would seem obvious. Cut off the problem at the source. The plastic is getting infused into the sea salt from ocean pollution, like plastic bottles. The United Nations report that around 12 million tons of plastic enters the oceans every year. So removing that from the equation will allow salt to just be salt. Number six, glitter. Every speck of glitter is a speck of microplastic one which will stay in our world forever, even once eaten by sea turtles and possibly excreted back out again. We know this one might not be as surprising as some others on this list, but it's really important to remember to remove it from our lives. There are great non-plastic alternatives now emerging, which is fabulous for when you really do need a little sparkle in your life. Number seven, sunscreen. This is an example of where there is a loophole in regulations. The US passed the Microbead Free Waters Act, MFWA, in 2015, meaning no toiletries of cosmetics could contain microbeads, microplastics usually used for exfoliation purposes. However, this law only applied to those products which are rinse off. And sunscreen, of course, is leave on. Enter sun spheres. Teeny tiny hollow spheres which are present to reflect more of the UVA and UVB rays from the sun, thereby protecting the wearer from sun damage. While this sounds good on the surface, it begs the question about alternatives. Well, non-microbead UV filters are far more expensive, so manufacturers have been slowly but surely increasing the number of sun spheres and decreasing the other more costly filters. One 100 milliliter tube of sunscreen can contain anywhere from 10 to 100 trillion plastic particles. These aren't the only offenders in your sun protection, however. There are other microplastics used to create waterproof properties or hold the other ingredients together. In fact, there are often any combination of up to nine microplastics in the majority of sunscreens. But Thankfully, there are alternatives which are better for you and the planet. Look out for plastic-free sunscreens and always, always, always check the ingredients list. Number eight, wet wipes. These disposable cleaning wipes really are the epitome of convenience. But regardless of flushable marketing messages, please don't flush them. In the UK, flushing wet wipes causes about 93% of the sewer blockages. And in 2018 in Charleston, South Carolina, they had to remove a 12 foot long blockage of wipes, costing the water utility $140,000. Wet wipes contain polyester and polypropylene. This means that even though their makeup of cotton and wood pulp would lead you to think that they are biodegradable, they aren't. The plastic is used to help give the wipes strength and durability, the things which ultimately mean they're damaging to the environment. 
In one state in Australia, there's even been calls to ban plastic containing wet wipes, adding them to the bill to ban plastic straws, stirrers, cutlery and plates, and polystyrene takeaway food and beverage containers. Hope this helped, Swarmers! Take this list with you into your lives and do your best to remember to avoid these sneaky microplastics wherever you can. And let us know how it goes, or if we missed a product that has sneaky plastic in it. Never ever hesitate to drop us a comment below. We really do love hearing from you. This is a team effort to learn from each other and help us all move toward a more sustainable, less plasticky future. Thank you so much for joining us, Swarmers. As always, stay safe out there, stay sustainable, and we'll see you next time.